hey guys in the last video what we saw was like we how to back up cisco uh, routers or switches using uh, paramico i mean we can multiple uh, you can back up multiple routers or switches by hard coding the ip address username password and enable password on the you know script itself which once we run the script it will back up uh, the files automatically on the you know defined sftp server but in today's video what we are going to do is we are going to basically um, you know use a csv file in order to define like what are the routers or switches that we have in our network along with the credential and pass this in and and the script will basically use the csv file as a source of truth uh, to get the ip address username and the password and the enable password as well and you know back up the routers configuration on a sftp server so using a csv file is is much more easier than you know hard coding the configuration on the script the reason why i'm saying this is because every time you need to modify the script uh, whenever you have to add or remove any um you know router um on your network right so if in case if you mess up with the script the script will stop working so it's recommended that you add the you know ip address and the credentials on a csv file or any database and then do not uh, not touch the script um when you are doing the backups right now most of the things remain same so in this particular model what we have done additionally is we have basically imported the csv module so that this um you know python script can you know read a csv file where you define the ip address and the credential for the you know router now most of the things will remain uh, same here now what we are uh, doing here is um let's say this okay so what we are doing here is uh, we are basically uh, are opening up the router underscore info dot csv that's the file name of your uh, csv file name that we have defined you can change the file name as per your requirement and then what we are doing here is we are basically you know reading uh, the csv file row by row so which means the first row is gonna be your um i mean for the first column is gonna be your host name second column is gonna be your uh, username third is your password and fourth is your enable password these are the columns now against these columns you are going to read row by row and see what are the ip address that's defined on your router and use a loop condition here similar to what we have done last time so you'll use the loop condition and do the backup of your routers and switches on your network right so most of the configuration remains same so i'm not going to explain uh, on them right now but i just wanted to show you like how the you know sees how do you back up the router using the csv file now look at this router underscore info dot csv so i don't have a office 365 installed on my system at this time so i don't have a excel um, where i can show you the csv file using an excel but instead i'll open up the csv file in a notepad and then you can read the csv file so this is uh, where i've saved a router underscore info that csv it's on the same folder where i have saved the script so router underscore info dot csv file is the file name so which is defined over here right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this um you know um, um column headers right so let's define that first is your router second is your username third is your password and fourth is your enable password so first is your host name second is your sorry is the first host name yeah host name then username it's comma separated values as you know the csv files are right so i'm putting a comma password and then enable password okay so this is how uh, the csv file header looks like now you can define the ip address uh, here so let's say 172.16.200, right? Username is Cisco, password is Cisco, enable password is Cisco, Cisco as well, right? Now let's define the other IP address. 172.16. Let's let's use only first one at this time, right? I saved the only one configuration for 172.16.200. 
And now let's run this configuration. Okay, if you see, like the configuration is uploaded to uh, this particular server 172.160.101, and the configuration file name is this. So let's see this. So if you notice here, so this is a file copied just now. And this is um, how does the, the CSV box. Now let's say if you want to, um, after you add this, let's say you deployed a new router on your network now. In the previous case, what you had to do is you have to modify the script itself and add the new uh, routing information, right? But here, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, add the new routing information in the CSV file. 281 Cisco, Cisco enable password is 123 if I'm not wrong. Let's see this, okay? Now, what I'll do is I'll remove this and then run the command again okay so if you notice the it was able to read the csv file line by line and then it was able to copy the running configuration on the sftp server so let's see that so if you see 200 and 201 is already copied Right. So this is uh, very helpful when you have large number of devices on your network. But my recommendation is still, you know, to, you know, put this credentials information uh, on a secure database rather than um, on, um, you know, um, is plain CSV file or on plain, uh, you know, on the script itself. Right. So you should basically read a uh, database and then read the um, IP address line by line along with the credential and then do the back right but however in this video we have covered it as uh, using the csv file itself so in the next video what we are going to do is uh, how do we you know run this configuration on a specific schedule so which means right let's say if i want to uh, run the backups every day midnight at a uh, certain time on daily basis right how do i do that so let's cover it in the next video I hope this video is informative for you. Thank you for watching.